what's up guys we're gonna real beats today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some drum heavy beats so we're gonna go real light on the melody today so we'll start with that and we just dropped a new drum kit on the site as well called purgatory so here we're just gonna use some of the drums um here okay um to make this and this is just kind of what's in here i'm not gonna go over it too in depth but yeah it's just what it looks like you guys can check that out on the site looking for a deeper learning experience check out our courses over at producer portal and if you're new to producing the ultimate beginner course is perfect for getting you up to speed with the rest of us now let's jump back into the video uh so yeah we'll start with our melody and i'm just using flex just a stock plug-in you don't really need expensive plugins for this um because the melody just needs to provide a vibe that's all it is it could be a trash melody a good melody um and i'll be honest with you the trashier your melody the better the beat um, you don't need a crazy melody so with this we'll just kind of just do a fifth and if you don't know how to make a fifth you just start on the note and go up one two three four five six seven and that's pretty much it um so you do that and to be honest with you i think we can really space this one out we'll just use our default bpm and we can probably just cheat the system and just kind of double this up and then on this half, we'll go a little bit more active. And let's just play the metronome because obviously it's gonna be very uh, light. So it's gonna, it's not gonna sound that great without the drums, right? So. So now I wanna go down. So we can take these at the bottom. Okay, I'll zoom in on these so you can see them a lot better. Okay, and we can just go down five. One, two, three, four, five. You don't really need to know music theory for this. You just go down five, okay? Or you can go up seven from here. So we go up five, one, two, three, four, five. And if you go to up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as you can see, we get back to the fifth and pull that down pretty much the same spot. Okay, so now we need to kind of make this a lot better so we're going to take these we're just going to move these down now i already know what notes that i kind of want to use because i've done this so many times but you could just literally you could use like scales or something like that or you could just kind of just use your ear or whatever tools that you have um, but we'll just oops we'll just take this half and pull it down like this oops and then we'll just keep going down yeah that's pretty much it that's literally it like i said you don't need a crazy melody this is the most bare bones melody you could ever make probably we've ever made on this channel so this is pretty easy we'll stop it here at the melody um let's go ahead and get into these drums and we'll just go straight down we'll start with the low end uh, which will be our kick uh, in 808s here. Uh, and then we'll do like our perks. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with our first 808. So you probably notice we have two 808s. And that's just something I like doing. I just think it sounds cool just using two uh, combos of 808. So to do this, I would recommend using something more synthy. So I have like this one, and then something you could use like a more traditional, like hard hitting 808 or something like that. And obviously this one doesn't have a kick in it. So that's why I have my kick here. Uh, so we'll start with this one. And again, same thing. This is pretty bare bones. You already kind of know what notes you're gonna use. And we'll pull that up. So all we gotta do now is just give it some rhythm. And I'll just turn this off. And then I like to kind of pop some of these up um, an octave just to kind of give it some life, right? And that's a quick way you can kind of cheat it because obviously we're gonna be using like the same patterns here, right? So like you wanna spice it up by adding up adding some of these changes just by changing up the octave or you could like make some slides stuff like that and i'm gonna just copy this up here like so and then we could just pretty much leave it like that i'm gonna listen to it it's not much to listen to but oops let's put that on g pretty simple we'll stop it there just so 
any of you skipping around the video you can actually find the exact part that you want so this is 808 one now we're going to do 808 two and then obviously the kick will just copy whatever we have down so let's go ahead and move on to that now we're going to do 808 two uh so before we do this for this particular 808 i like it to stop when i want it to so i'm going to click in here and basically just want to go to your envelope area here so you can see this and all you want to do is just turn the hold all the way up and turn everything else down so we'll turn this down turn this down this down and now it should stop when we play it okay so pretty simple uh so yeah i just want to offset this um you don't want it to, you don't want it to play exactly every single time so like you could do something like this but take out the front something like that we can maybe even offset this just to give it like an odd pattern uh i'm gonna just pull some of these in and then we could just add some slides so we can do a little slide pull that up and i'm just gonna drag it over okay i'll turn that metronome off copy this over i don't want to overdo it you just want it to kind of be like a special thing right you don't want to like overplay it and i know these are super small but it's kind of it's kind of hard to see some of these like the actual note name in fl so try to keep it as small as i can but i guess i could just do it half and half something like that all right so now obviously we're going to be using our g so So it would typically look something like this, right? But we can just cut it here and then kind of mess around with some of these notes. Pull that down an octave and then we'll transition to that with a slide. It's real simple. And then where this will all come together is with is when we actually add in our kick and stuff and then maybe we can do that same little trick we did earlier with the other part and then we'll just kind of cheat it we'll just use the same note like so So what I'm going to do now as we listen to it, I'm going to add the kick in and just make sure everything is sounding pretty good. So let's go ahead and do this. Oops. And obviously we turn our kick all the way up. Oops. I'm going to change the grid to one half just so it's easier to place these. There we go. I think that sounds a lot cooler. Um do some doubles I'm just copy this down like so and just delete everything in between actually just keep this pattern going like this And usually I double my kicks like this, but I don't think I need to because um, I'll do a little bit of mixing afterwards, but. And the reason I do this is because when you pull your kick down and I'll just delete this and show you what I mean. Let's say you pull it up an octave. Uh, let's mute these real quick. You see the kick is a higher pitch. So obviously when you pitch it down, it's a lot lower. So when I lower it, it's gonna give it autom it's automatically gonna give it a little bit of subbiness to it. It's nothing crazy, but it's just something, it's just a slight difference that I like, right? Uh, so that's why I do that personally. You don't need to do this. You could just do this in post-processing, obviously using like an EQ or something like that. But um, yeah, I just like to do that. So I'm gonna do that because I actually like the way it sounds. So.
and i think this is actually pretty good um especially since our melody is super bare bones um, so let's actually go ahead and finish this up um and add our perks in all right so now we're going to go ahead and throw in our perks now this is actually the easiest part so a lot of people we typically start with the drums and do a lot of like drums but i think nowadays people go for more of like empty beats where it's not a lot going on it's just kind of like bursts so as you can see like even with our 808 pattern it's like very empty like as you can see it's like not a lot going on you can see like even here it's very empty but like it was like bursts right um and that's really good for people to rap on uh so i uh, just went for that so with our perks right this is why i'm bringing it up is that we don't need to go too heavy with the perks they just need to complement what we already have um because these beats are meant for like the lyrics to kind of stand out anyway so um, obviously we would throw in like our regular stuff like our rim and stuff like this right so and i'm gonna actually offset do like an offset And I actually want to grab in a, uh, um, just add a little bit of crispiness real quick. Um, I don't, I guess I could just recolor it now. Oops. Just do that. All right. And then I'll just replace that like so. And then I'm gonna just turn the velocity down. Just to add like some like humanized patterns to it, even though it's not humanized. And we'll just double this like so. And then, I don't know, let's. And I think what I wanna do real quick is Let's actually take this out. Let me see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let's bar this up so it all repeats. Um, I am going to play around with this a little bit and let's pan uh, where is this one? Let's pan this sound here. Okay, so we're gonna pan this. Maybe we could do something like this. No, I kind of want it on the other side. Okay, now you can see I'm taking my time with this. Regular trap beat, I would just throw hi hats in, just put stuff in, right? But with this, you want to be a lot more uh strategic with where you put this stuff because it's gonna stand out because it's nothing really going on right uh so um with this stuff and i'm gonna put this on 32 and I'll put this on bar and I think that's good and it should all repeat. Yep, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that's the beat. I'll probably put like some mixing stuff on top. I think everything is sounding crispy already, to be honest. Um, so, oops. So we'll just play it once or twice through even though we've been listening to it and then we'll just, I'll just add some little extra stuff on top for the mix and we'll listen to it there. But, or I guess we could just do it now. Now I'll just split it up. All right, sounds nice. So we'll just go into the effects. I'm not gonna do much because I think it's fine the way it is, but we'll just kind of tidy some stuff up. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna do a little bit of the mixing. So typically I wouldn't do this. I would do this off screen and then just show you what I did. But since we didn't do much melody, I guess we could just do it, the mixing part here. So 
I just have all this highlighted and we're just gonna go to our empty channel, right click channel routing and click the second one or whatever DAW, you, DAW you're in, you can kind of do it your own way. Um, but I'm gonna take all of the perks. So everything here, right? And then select the empty channel and just route this to uh, a bus like so. so. So now it's in its own track and I like just to name it, type like D bus, right? And you can just, I don't know, you could just darken it or something like that. And then I like to split it up, obviously, just so it's organized. This is our kick and we can just put a separator between these. Okay, and then on this, we can just take some of the bass out for the, the uh, I guess like the piano or whatever. And then I'm gonna just add a transient processor. Okay, just to kind of clean up. All right, you can see the drums are a lot more tight now, but I'm not gonna do it that much. Just to make them a little bit more crispy. And then on top, we can do a EQO, like so. I'll just make this a lot larger. And I like to use this little button here so I can pick each frequency, as you can see. And then you could just kind of just do something like that. Right, and if it's too much, you can kind of turn down the mix a bit. I think that's crispy enough, to be honest. Um, let me see. I don't, I don't think we need to do too much. I think we can just add our soft clipper and then you could just play around with like effects and stuff. Um, like the, the split, the frequency splitter is like a perfect plugin for stuff like this. I think that's fine. And then I'll add an EQO on top. Like I said, nothing crazy. It's just kind of just shaping it a little bit, like boosting, like, like if you want the drums to be a little bit more crispy, you turn that up. If you want the 808 to be a lot fatter, you just turn it up. You know, if you like that sound, that then you do that, right? Um, so we'll wrap this up. I'm gonna just take out some of those lows. Let's make sure we're zooming in here. Um, I like to start soft and just kind of figure out what frequencies I don't like. I'm gonna turn these up and then bring these back down. I think that's fine, honestly, right? And that's just how you can kind of shape it to how you want it. I'm not gonna do anything else. I think this is perfectly fine, just what we have on here. And then for our soft clipper, if you want that saturation sound, you just turn this down to about 10. Right, and that's our beat. That's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.